Steve will take your donations however we can get them. <laughs> Glad to have you and your money here. <sighs> GTG meeting's about to start. It's about a year. Hello, gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to Dad's Anonymous. I am Dr. Phil Good, and if you're here because of your overbearing and or living your lives through all your children, <clears throat> let's go around the room and introduce yourself to the group. Remember, we can be open and honest here. Let's have no judgments on one another and it just Hi, my name is Dan. I don't know why my wife sent me here. I just try to keep the kiddos safe from this big old germ-infested world. And she thinks it's way overboard to make them wear a mask 24-7 since this swine flu outbreak. The swine flu is so scary. Dude, OMG, this guy's an MF freak. Dude, you need to quit being such a pussy. You need to pop a few thousand millies of vitamin C every day. Get those kids out in the fresh air and run a few laps. Hey, dude, I'm a cop. You better quit the name calling and quit talking out of turn. My turn now, so shut that F up. <laughs> My name's Jerry. I almost went to law school, so I know about law and <laughs> My wife thinks I'm way too strict with the kids. She especially takes offense to sending our son to military school. You know, how old is he? Five. <laughs> I think that's a perfect age to learn responsibility and how to bow down to authority. Dude, someone needs to tell this guy to ESAB. <laughs> he has. <laughs> He's got NFC, how to be a dad. Dude, five might be a little bit early. Now, even though I gave my son a football the day he was born and wallpapered his room with pictures of all the great quarterbacks. I didn't turn him over to professional coaching until he was set. <laughs> but man, my wife, she flipped out when she found out I've been pumping him full of Roy's and HDH. And she was <laughs> but hey, man, how many 10 year olds you know can smash a beer kit on their coat man, on their forehead? Uh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, my name's Phil. You probably remember me from my football exploits back at old LHS 77. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember. OMG, this guy thinks he's one BAMF, but I think he's just FOS. <laughs> I'm thinking, are you effing kidding me? Sir, could you please quit texting and introduce yourself? Uh, busted. <laughs> hey there, my name's Ken, and my wife, she's got no head for the model, modern marvels of, of society and, and how cool technology is. I mean, the other night when I was texting my BFF, my son Mac, she got all pissed off. She said, stop doing that. And then, then I was at dinner with her for our anniversary and I was telling everybody how cool the ribeye was on my Facebook and that pissed her off. But the thing that just threw her over the top, man, we were having some sex and it was just awesome. She, she went in there, she grabbed my Twitter and she started <laughs> crying and just going after whoa, me. Whoa, I'm just whoa, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. As you may say, that's TMI. Have a little respect. Go hey, ahead. dude, man, you know, really aggressive sex can be great aerobic exercise. High five, man. Yeah, yeah. And hey, maybe you should try that, Flynn boy. I hope you took a clean hot shower and sprayed your room down with Lysol. Sounds like a lot of germs were spread. I hope you didn't break any blue laws. Hey, order, order, order. Hey, well, let's introduce this, this fellow right here. It's got no. Thank you. I'm Howard. I'm very involved in the theater with my two children. <laughs> We like to stay up till all hours of the night. Look, Troy and Gabriella love to sing all the songs to high school, high school musical. I think that this may be the start of something new. And that this therapy may just be what I've been looking for. Very alert. Oh my God. All right. R R O. All right, R O T F L M F A O. I didn't quite get that. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, calm down, calm down. We really need to get out of this. This is Don't you guys know about High School Musical? Little Howard is bringing sexy back. <laughs> And 
we just love to stay up till like midnight singing all the songs, watching the DVDs. Listen, Howard, you've got to think about getting those kids to bed a little earlier during the week. Maybe 8, 8.30 on the weekend, 9 o'clock. What do you think, my boy? Yeah, sure. Scott, go ahead and tell us, tell us, tell us. Well, you know, I think this group therapy is great. I really think it just makes me want to sing. Everybody stand up. Woo! <laughs> 